And lastly, I promise you perfect love and trust for one lifetime with you could never be enough. Well then, without further ado, David, Lindsay, I now pronounce you husband I and- I object to this union! Neil! You know this guy? Oh, yeah, we were friends in high school. Best ah. friends in high school. Co-chairs of Junior Senate. <laughs> you were in Junior Senate? Neil, don't! Don't what? Does the co-chair acknowledge that on the last day of Junior Senate, we formally agreed that if neither of us were married by the time we were 30, we'd marry each other? Yay. <laughs> Does the co-chair acknowledge that her 30th birthday is tomorrow, April 28th? Neil, please! Does the co-chair acknowledge? <laughs> Yay. Hey, who's missing? Buddy. We're having a wedding here, okay? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Sorry, can I borrow this? Oh, what? Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I first met Lindsay on September 19th, 2000. I had just moved to a new town, and I didn't really know anyone yet. My mom suggested that I join an extracurricular club. So, I went to speak with my guidance. Oh, coach. no! What? He's filibustering! <laughs> filibustering? Yeah, he's filibustering the wedding! Well, he can't do that! No, he can't! He objected! He has the floor! <laughs> Is that true? There's no rule that says he can. And Is there no rule, rule that says he can? Well, he's doing it, isn't he? <laughs> Which is a very big course load for a 10th grader. <laughs> Did I mention where we went to school? It was Stony Brook High. Oh. The address was 44, 22, North Listen, State I'm University. sorry, Lindsay, this is stupid. Just call it. Pronounce his man and wife. No, David, you don't understand. Student government isn't something to turn your back on when you graduate. <laughs> this is really important to us, and it's still a part of me in a lot of ways. So. Chicken salad, chicken salad, chicken salad, ham and cheese, ham, no cheese, tuna salad. <laughs> so let me see, uh, January's lunch is what? Ham and cheese, ham and cheese, ham and cheese. How long is he going to do this for? Um, let me see, uh, 14 hours. What? Well, I was born at 7.53 a.m. on April 28th. It's 5.53 now. He's just riding it out till I turn 30. Which made my internship a little strange. <laughs> do you know that reminds me of my favorite childhood book, James and the Giant Peach. I'd like to read uh, a particular passage to you now that I believe is relevant. <clears throat> the walls were wet and sticky, and the ceiling was dripping with peach juice. James opened his mouth. Why does he even have the floor? The priest didn't even say the, does anyone object thing. No, yeah. it's implied, even when I don't say it. <laughs> then why didn't you say it? Because no one ever objects. <laughs> really? This never happened. It's happening now. This will be the only time. You can't say <laughs> None of us will ever see this again in our lifetime. Needless to say, that was my last day as a meteorologist. So there I was, jobless and broke, but I made my own fun. Soon, I was crafting clay figurines of my friends and making them fight! Okay, this is stupid. Let's just finish the ceremony. Who cares about some dumb rule? I care! And you should too if you respect me. Strange! And I'm just like, what? So if he talks nonstop for 14 hours, he gets to marry you? Yeah, we had a formal agreement. <laughs> this baby takes the money chain. He works from night to morning. He takes a lot of holiday to find me waiting for him. So that was when I hit rock bottom. <laughs>
Google Lindsay Huff, and wouldn't you know it, you're getting married this week. Crazy, right? So that's why I'm here today. I think Bro, you're I not going to marry my wife! Oh, baby, no! Look! I may not like what he's doing to our wedding, but I will go to my grave defending his right to do it. Yeah. I can't marry someone who doesn't respect the junior senate code. Wait, does that mean you'll marry me? In point of order, yes. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Can we please start our funeral now? Oh. Oh.